this. Consider reaction 1 and 3. 1 to 3. 1 to 3. We call this reaction synthesis. Manufacturing. A and B represent organic compounds that are positional isomers. Meaning that is the same is is the same same molecular same same structure just the position of the the substance is different in other words one is a major product and one is a minor product that is what is behind this remember when you are doing this we produce major products and minor products okay let's go to the question and then we find out Define position isomer structure you know, molecules the same molecular formula but, if, uh, uh, but different position of uh, the substance or functional group. Yes. All right. The type of reaction represented by one. Now, let me see. You have uh, this is an alkene, it has a double bond. Know why? Because here there is no two and here there is no two, meaning that there is a double bond in there. It's a condensed structure formula, ne? Yes, so it's a double bond. So it's an alkene. Alkene. You understand? Then you added this. So now there is something which you need to do. No. One, two, three, four, five, ne? So one, two, three, four, five. Whereby you have this a double bond there. Mm. You have a double bond there. So it looks like that. There's something which I want to show you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the double bond is one. The bond is there. And the other side is plus hydrochloric acid. You produce A and B. So the first compound, what's going to happen? The first compound, then let me show you another compound. The first compound. This is going to break. Hydrogen is going to come here. And the chloride is going to come there. The second compound. Ne? Chloride is going to come there. And then hydrogen is going to come here. And this, this one is the major product. Product. This is a minor product. But now, look. Uh, if you look at this and this, it's the same molecule. But... Now, remember now this one is gone already because after it has broken. Eh? This and this is the same thing. Eh? But what happens here, what happens here is uh, these are just positional isomers. The position of this has changed. This is on carbon atom number two while it is on carbon atom number three. Yeah. That's why they said this. And then they say that they used A. Now, among those two, which one is A? Okay, we're going to know A by this. See? We see that now this OH is on carbon atom number two. So it means that in this case, they used the one which is on carbon atom number two. They used the minor one. Understand? Yes. Okay. Now, they're saying that. Write down the reaction that takes place by one. There is one because this I'm adding this, so it's gonna be hydro halogenation, it would be additional reaction or hydro halogenation. Both answers could be correct because they are not specific. Structure formula of compound B, and talk about structure formula of compound B. You see now. They are talking about the major one, major product. You see, this is what you're supposed to write. But don't forget to put hydrogens, uh, hydrogens. You see, yes, that's what you're supposed to write in that case. So automatically, this is the hydrogen and then this is hydrogen. The hydrogens must be there. These bonds, they don't hang outside just like that. So there, you get the answer. Hmm. Let me see someone is saying. Uh, okay. Uh, 
All right, mm -hmm. let's go to the next question. And then uh, saying that, um, yeah, so we are done with this. Ne? And then we go to this one. Mm, with this one saying that uh, write the structure formula of compound B okay, we are done with that formula of X now is X X now remember I have this which I added on A so now this is hydrolysis I don't know why they brought it back because they brought it already before there is a question i saw where they are asking about hydrolysis so automatically this plus this it gives you that so uh, it means that this was uh this one is gonna be removed from this so that yes uh -huh. so the structure formula they're saying that the structure formula of compound of what did i say is going to be hydrochloric acid why because the hydrochloric acid was replaced by water actually the chloride is one which is replaced by water but don't forget that water comes with another hydrogen therefore x becomes hcl yeah it can be hydrochloric acid or hydrogen hydrogen chloride but since it's an aqueous then definitely it's hydrochloric acid and they want the formula. Then they're asking you inorganic reagent in a reaction theory. You are removing the water to alkene again. Definitely, this is going to be it's going to be what? It's going to be dehydration. So it's going to be sulfuric acid. Conch. Sulfuric acid. Don't forget that when you're forming that, you require some heat. But they are not asking you, they are saying organic, inorganic reagent. So in this case, sulfuric acid would be the best answer. However, if you wrote concentrated phospholic, mm, phospholic acid, it's also correct. Maybe the books are not talking about it, but it could be there in the what? In the memorandum. Yes. So concentrated phospholic acid is also. Um, allowed in that uh, regard then we go to the next question beside the heat write down the reaction condition uh, needed for this conversion beside the heat yeah. compound a let's go back to compound a compound a all right we saw it compound a can be converted directly to compound e okay yes from here to here from here uh, from hydrogen halide this one to direct to alkene so what do you need there in that case the first thing you need to know that no water is needed is needed ne? yes that's the first thing then number two um strong base which you use a strong base strong base strong base uh in this case maybe you 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 said you said strong base potassium hydroxide or you can say sodium hydroxide still when you say that still you give you a mark write down to as i told you that this is just um there are so many answers i may not finish everything ne? and the way how you do the the calculation as we shall see may not be the same as long as you get the correct answer now write down the term two terms that describes the type of reaction so the type of reaction remember you are from uh hydrogen halide uh, halogen from this the halo alkane you're from the halo alkane then you are going to an alkene with a double bond so it means that first of all i'm removing this and this so i can say elimination yes so you saying elimination let me see what did they say here 
Oh, they said it.